If I do what Mark Comer did, I'm going to earn what Mark Comer earned. You just have to replicate success in your own life. You don't have to reinvent it. See, that's the difference between traditional business and this. In traditional business, no one's going to tell you how to make money because then you become their competition. No one wants to mentor you. In network marketing, the most wealthy people are the ones investing the most time into mentoring the newest people. Does that make sense? If that makes sense, say yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Sorry, I'm getting a little animated here. Owning your own business only allows you to take uh, owning your own business allows you to take advantage of 177 tax write-offs. How many tax write-offs do you get through employment? Almost none. Okay. The most tax income and the most taxed uh, yeah income is income tax. You want to earn through profits, not through wages. Wages are weak, profits are powerful. You all remember in the presidential election, I'm not taking sides or saying anything about politics, but the Obama, Romney are running, and much was to do about Romney's tax returns. And it turned out Obama, who is not as wealthy as Romney, was paying a lot more taxes. You all remember this? Mm -hmm. How is it that a guy that has hundreds of millions of dollars had less of a tax liability than a guy who makes far, far less than that? Because he earned through profits. All wealthy earn through profits, not wages. Because those doctors and lawyers who earn a high wage rate also have a high tax rate. Does that make sense? If the wealthy make the rules, they're going to make the rules conducive to them, so you have to play by their rules. Owning a private business, you write off this event is write off. Your car is a write off. Part of your house is a write off. All those things are write off. Even if you invest, you still have a boss. You're still subject to corporate America, and you are not the master of your fate. Everyone thinks that employment. They'll think, oh, you own your own business. Isn't that dangerous? What's dangerous is, if your boss doesn't like you, you're fired. If your company downsizes, you're fired. If you say something politically incorrect that you're supposed to take an HR course on, like I probably had you too many times, you're fired, right? You could be fired just because you showed up in a pink shirt and people don't like pink. That, to me, is insecurity, especially when I only have two paychecks until I'm bankrupt. Okay? Now, when you control your own income, if you want to earn more money, go out and enroll more people. If you want to earn more money, help them enroll more people. Get your mega matches going. It's up to you. No one else controls your income and synergy but you. I find it so ironic that sometimes people come up to me and, oh, I got the wrong sponsor, or I didn't get in at the top of the tree, or this, or that, or whatever. They're all excuses. It's up to us. We determine our income. We determine our fate. We are private business owners, and we are in the same business, just like Mark, or Steve, or anyone else, we're all in the same business with the same opportunity. It's just who wants it more. That's why I call this a non-segregating business, because it's all about just who wants it more. This is the American dream in body. This is capitalism at its finest. This is if you want it more, go get it, okay? Now, does your synergy business have any of the following restrictions? Limitations and penalties on withdrawal of money. Double taxation such as capital gains. Does it require constant physical maintenance or upkeep? Does it require special permits or licenses? Do you have to have employees? Is its enrollment limited to a small few? Is your synergy business subject to rising interest rate, foreign currency, political duress, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Okay? None of these things affect you when, you're, when you own your own synergy business, right? What about renters? If you've ever had a renter, do renters treat your home like you would treat your home? No, because they're renting, okay? So anyway, there's just other things when you compare investment vehicles. So taking the following options into consideration, what is your best vehicle to economic independence? All private business owners are in business to be economically independent. What is your best vehicle? The opportunity costs of not taking advantage of your synergy business are enormous. So I ask you again, what do you think your synergy business is really worth? What other vehicle is going to take you to economic independence? What is everyone else's plan B, and how well is it going? Let's be honest with them, okay? Because their plan B is not a good one. 401ks, annuities, all these other things, rental properties. You, have, you can do it, but you have to have a lot of money to do it. Here, the only thing that you have to have is drive and effort. If you have that, you are qualified, okay? Now, I'm just wanna, I want to leave you with this in my personal cell phone number and email address, like I always do. I want to, to ingrain this into your memory because this should be the why of everyone in business. Now, if you're a customer, your why should be a physical thing, right? If I'm just a consumer, my goal should be something physical. If I'm a business owner, this is my why. Because economic independence re represents everything you want. It represents paying for your grandkids' college. It represents going on the trips you want when you want. It represents buying the car you've wanted and you've never wanted the debt to pay for it. It represents 
uh, buying that new home and the zip code you really want to move. It represents all of those things. But you can't do that until you have the, the, the means to pay for it. Okay? Or you can, you're an average American building up a residual debt. Okay? My name is Shane Greer. My personal cell phone number is 801-360-5240. 801-360-5240. I'd give you that as a tool in your arsenal that you can call me at any time for anything to talk to anyone. If I don't answer, a great way is to send a text message say, hey, I called you, can you call me back? Because, as you can imagine, in a room full like this, the call volume is pretty high sometimes, okay, at peak times. And if you talk to Steve, he'll let you know that sometimes when I don't answer, I'll call you back, all right? And if he sends me a text, I'll call him back faster usually. 801-360-5240, my personal email address is shaneg at Synergy Worldwide. Shane G at Synergy Worldwide. Guys, I hope this has been an investment for you. I hope, this, I hope this presentation has helped to open your eyes on how valuable a business you really, really have. Okay?